When voters go to the poll this November, they're going to find a different kind of voting machine waiting for them, and we want to make sure everybody's comfortable with the way it works. So at the check-in table, you're going to show your photo ID, and you're going to be given a blank, long, white card. This is your paper trail. You're going to take it over to the ballot marking device, which is, um, that's all it does, is it makes, mark on, makes marks on your paper trail. There's no memory, there's no hard drive in this system. So voters approach the ballot marking device and they'll notice a notch on their ballot that corresponds with the slot on the front of the machine. So they just match those up and slip it in. After you put the card in, your ballot is going to come up and your first selection is going to be a choice of language. And then your navigation toggles are down here at the bottom. So what you want to do is just pick, this is a fun ballot, so start picking um, here we go. your choices. Um, there we go. All the way through the ballot. Uh, there we go. And we've got, how about one or two choices here. Now, what you find in this is your summary screen. And the little exclamation point right here will tell the voter that they've missed something. So we push on that box and it takes us back to. And now if we read the instructions, it says I could vote for none, one, or two. So I've missed an opportunity to vote here. So let's pick another choice. And that way we've satisfied the up to two. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can. And then go back to the summary screen again. This t the green check mark tells you it's completed and the voter has finished working with it. So now if this is exactly what the voter wants, and you can also zoom in so that you can read these with, with a bigger font, and then we're finding that's very helpful to some voters. Once you get that summary screen just the way you want it though, you're ready to print your ballot card back out. So you're gonna hit the print card button. Now, when this app comes out, you need to give it a little bit of tug. We don't want it to fall on the floor. It's going to have all the choices that I made on this touch screen. So now the next step is to step away from the ballot marking device because it's available for the next voter now. There's nothing left on it that has anything to do with you. So what you're going to do is, while you're walking over to the ballot box, you're going to look at your choices here and you're going to say, yes, 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 that's correct. I'm good with this. If, it's, if you're not good with it, you can have a redo. You can go back to the sign-in table and say, I, I need to redo this. I'm, I'm not happy with it for any reason. They'll give you a fresh card. They'll spoil this one. And you'll go back to one of the other ballot marking devices of your choice and start voting again. Texas law allows you three ballots. So one of the things we say to voters is don't mess up on that third one. So... I have voter verified that my ballot is correct. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I'm ready to put it in the ballot box. So we're going to just feed it in right like this. You have a choice if you'd like to have just a little more privacy. These are very hard to read from a distance, but if you wanted, you can turn it over so that nobody can see it while you're feeding it in. Feed it in the system, it'll take it. It's gonna make a picture of the paper ballot and it's gonna be stored in a removable media that's right here in this locked compartment. On election night, we'll take the removable media and the ballot cards together and bring them to central counting to be tallied. There's no tallying that happens anywhere in the precinct. Um, there's no adding up, all of that is done back at headquarters.